The Coverage tab is where the audience area previously created in the Slice tab is refined. Defining individual audience sections if required and additional properties such as non-audience and hard avoid areas. The workspace is divided into the venue diagram and a set of refinement tools on the right hand side. The venue diagram shows the venue drawing created in the Slice tab. The audience region is shown as a series of green dots. The remaining areas are divided into non-audience in red and hard avoid in blue. Each dot around the slice acts as a virtual microphone where the software takes a measurement of the response using the internal computer model of the array. The dots in the audience region are spaced closer together at the audience start which reflects how much of the array covers the areas closest with the dots spaced further apart towards the back of the audience as each element of the array covers a greater area. The refinement tools start with the audience offset at the top. Moving down, the next tool defines line properties. Then we have the target profile and finally target refinement. Line properties, target profile and target refinement can be collapsed and expanded by clicking on the triangle on the heading bar. An upward pointing triangle shows an expanded window and a downward facing triangle shows that the window is closed. Starting with the audience offsets, display offers two default offsets for ear height within the audience area, standing and seating, at 1.6 meters and 1.2 meters respectively. There is also a third option for a custom offset whereby the user can input any given value up to 6 meters. By default, all audience offsets are treated equally and initially will be shown as standing. This can be changed for the entire audience region simply by clicking on an alternative, either seating or custom. To apply different offsets throughout the venue, a classic example being a venue with standing in the stalls with a seated balcony, simply uncheck the uniform offset button. The selection menu changes to three buttons. Select the required offset option and apply it by clicking on the appropriate audience section between two vertices. Note that each region between vertices must be edited individually. The allow dither function staggers the audience height when in close proximity to an array, commonly a low flown or ground stacked system. This is done to prevent high frequency beaming from cabinets in this near field area during the optimization process. Next, the line properties are defined to determine in detail exactly how the optimization will treat every part of the venue. The audience region is shown in green and initially will show the total area defined in the slice tab. Areas displayed in red on the venue diagram are non-audience and are considered leakage areas. In addition to the audience and non-audience properties, Martin Audio Optimize Systems also feature the hard avoid function whereby the optimization will actively aim to reduce leakage from the array to a minimum. There may be a temptation to make everywhere in the venue that is not audience hard avoid, but you need to be mindful of the amount of processing power available. Hard avoid works best with one or possibly two hard avoid regions per shell. Other factors, including line length, distance from source, and in the case of wavefront precision arrays, the resolution in which the array is optimized will influence the performance of a hard avoid area. By default, the hard avoid is placed between points 1 and 2 of the shell, which is commonly drawn as the stage. Using hard avoid on stage drastically reduces SPL for the on stage performers, meaning there is greater gain before feedback from the front of house system. 
This can be a huge advantage for applications such as orchestral events, which may have dozens of microphones in use, some of which may even be omnidirectional, and classical musicians who are easily distracted by spill from a large PA system. The other classic use of hard avoid is beyond the audience region at outdoor events to keep off-site noise pollution to a minimum. This incredibly powerful option has led to massive success for Martin Audio optimised systems at outdoor festivals around the globe. Applying a line property change works in the same way as applying an audience offset change. First, select the property from the options on the right and then click the region between two vertices to apply it to that region. When the audience area is defined in the Slice tab, all regions between the start and stop are considered audience. In a venue with a balcony or indeed multiple balconies, display sees the back wall, under balcony and balcony front regions as audience. These areas must be altered to reflect reality, ensuring minimum leakage outside of the audience areas. In some cases, typically under a balcony, a region will appear in pink. This is a region where the array does not have line of sight and disregards it within the optimization process. Just as with the dither option, this may automatically change once the array's articulation has been calculated. Another classic use of the hard avoid function is to apply it to a reflective balcony front, which can cause a highly distractive slapback echo on stage. Hard avoid has been used extremely effectively to reduce this problem substantially. Display's SBL profile is one of the most powerful tools within the optimization software. This allows the user to vary the SBL throughout the audience area around a pivotal position, the reference point. The reference point is placed by default in the centre of the audience but can be moved anywhere within the audience coverage. The idea is, if the system is fed an input signal of 0 dBU, the level at the reference point would reflect the stated reference SBL, in this case 105 dB. Whilst it is tempting to automatically place the reference point at the front of house position, it could have unwanted consequences for the SBL contour. With the default start-stop deltas that wavefront precision arrays use, for example, a smooth, consistent level increase by 8 dB is achieved across the audience plane. 4 dB from the audience start to the reference position and 4 dB from the reference to the back of the audience. However, moving the reference point to the front of house position, let's say it's three quarters of the way back, the SPL contour would now gradually decrease by 4 dB from the audience front and front of house, and then there would be a very rapid drop off of 4 dB within the final quarter to the back of the audience, creating a slightly strange auditory experience. Of course, there are many applications where it may be desirable to have the SPL rapidly drop off behind the reference point, and outdoor events where noise pollution is an issue, for example. The ability to move the reference point in conjunction with targeting the profile allows system technicians to freely design the ideal coverage for different applications and difficult environmental conditions. It is important to be mindful of how best to utilise the DSP resource that Display offers. Where a large system of say 20 MLA cabinets containing 120 channels of processing may be able to reproduce consistent frequency response through a large audience plane with minimal SPL variation, it would be very difficult to achieve the same level of control from say a small wavefront precision array optimised in low resolution, where a single DSP channel may be serving multiple cabinets. It is also important to recognise that whilst the optimization process can achieve a front-to-back SPL differential as low as 0 dB, it is not necessarily a desirable outcome. 
the optimization works down to 100 Hz, but below that, and in the subwoofer band in particular, the SBL will fall away according to the natural laws of physics, at 6 dB with every doubling of distance. If you set the SBL goal to be zero, it would mean that as you move back in a venue, the tonal balance alters significantly as 100 Hz and above remains at the same SPL, but below 100 Hz the level gradually decreases. It is recommended to use the default SPL contour unless you have a particular reason not to. The default values have been selected to give the best results for the type of array with a natural SPL reduction and maintaining a good tonal balance for everyone in the audience. As Martin Audio Systems can load multiple array optimizations for quick preset selection, the coverage editor is used to alter the parameters of the audience area. Perhaps a venue with a balcony has an installed optimized system, however the balcony isn't always open for events. Instead of turning off loudspeakers within the array compromising the optimization, audience coverage can be reduced by loading a new preset to suit the venue's requirements. If Expert Mode is selected in the Display Preferences, the Target Refinement option is available. This allows the optimization to compensate for the loss of high frequencies caused by environmental conditions. The slider controls the amount of air loss compensation to apply. Fully to the left means no compensation, and to the right up to 22 dB of gain is allowed to compensate for air loss at distance. Useful in situations with extreme weather conditions or when an array has a particularly long throw distance. It is important to understand that if overcompensated, the headroom of the system is reduced. The Edit button allows you to enter accurate temperature, humidity and pressure figures for the environment. This can be crucial particularly in applications such as outdoor summer festivals where the temperature can vary enormously during the course of the day. It may be very hot at midday, meaning that high frequencies require significant compensation to ensure they meet the furthest reaches of the audience. During the evening, the temperature could easily drop by 10 degrees or more, and if the same HF compensation is in place, the system will sound shrill and trebly. A series of optimizations mapping the drop in temperature works extremely well in these circumstances to ensure consistent performance over the entire day. Once you have completed defining all aspects of the array coverage, click Done to close the coverage window and move on to the Splay tab.